Well guys, I have just been informed by doing some video editing uh, that DaVinci's Resolve Studio has released a new version. Uh, I'll just quickly try to find the release notes if I can. Uh, BMD has taken efforts to ensure project libraries compatible with Resolve 19.1, why this allows you to access the project, blah, blah, blah. That's great. There's also reminders and bug reports and stuff. So here's what's new. Okay. New Blackmagic raw SDK support in a correct, uh, addressed incorrect media pool clip when sorting and timeline, voiceover issues have been solved, music editor not restraining settings on reload. There's a bunch of stuff here, but I don't see anything that stands out exactly. Yeah. I don't know. I wish they would be a little more forward with their, um, with everything that they do. Yeah. This, this has never been true. Because, you know, it's just bull. Yeah. Okay. So, let's go to what's new. Let's just click free download Linux, download only. Wait about half a second. And now it's downloading. Then we're going to do the installation and the setup as always because people get really confused on how you upgrade DaVinci's Resolve Studio from one version to the next on Linux. Now that it's done downloading, we can right click it and extract. And just like that, it's done. We can go in here and we can just type, we can just basically right click and hit run at this point, okay? That's only if you're on Cache OS. If you're on Pico OS or Fedora, you're going to have to do a command line thing to get it working, which would be uh, right clicking, open in console, and then you do this. And well, normally it would tell you about the whole skip check thing, but this time it doesn't because uh, it doesn't need to. But again, you can find any and all advanced instructions in my Discord. I'll show you the command real quick because I want you guys to have all the information possible. So we're going to go and type resolve in the Linux tips and tricks, which is an amazing little forum that exists on my discord. And we have it there for a reason to help people. If you don't want to be helped. I mean, that's up to you. But if you do like being helped, that's really, really great. So there's the command right there, skip underscore package underscore check equals one. And then you would change this to this, I believe. No. So my guess is it does this. Nope. You can easily just do that, right? Oh, it's not doing the tab thing. They rename it. Is it because we're in the other one? All right. Well, you could just easily drag and drop. <laughs> This is why I do not like using uh, console. It's just a really bad application. So uh, CD downloads that and then interest result Linux and then skip underscore package. Okay. Underscore the hell was it? Uh, check equals one. Okay, then Divin then type capital D and press tab and it should just run like that. So that's what you do if you're on Fedora, Pico OS. But again, if you're on Cache OS, you just have to right click and open it. Now we're going to click reinstall DaVinci's Resolve and we're going to select the renderer. We're going to hit agree to license. We're going to hit start install and uh, we're going to authenticate ourselves yes we are good and that is it it's going to do its installation and there you go you've officially upgraded from one davinci's resolve version to the next after this we're going to have to follow what are called post install instructions and of course we're going to turn to our password again like that the post install instructions are pretty simple and easy to do the minute that this finishes we will do this and cd slash shop slash revolve slash libs and then the these two end symbols basically initiate a second command which is sudo make dir disable dash libraries and again 
it initiates another command which is sudo mv lib glib with this asterisk meaning all files with this first part here will be moved in same thing goes for this and this and this okay and then they will all be moved into disabled libraries you will not be able to run this on any other distro unless you do this command and it's best to do it this way because any scripts that are made for older versions will have to take time to be upgraded for newer versions so that's why i always recommend you do it yourself instead of relying on others to do it for you get into the habit of taking care of yourself okay because in the end these scripts are not going to be around forever the maintainers are going to get bored they're going to move on to something else they're going to forget it exists and then you're kind of done for so this is why i always recommended doing this way all right and with that we should be able to go into here and open up davinci's resolve 20. yeah there it is it's opening and it's running great this is awesome news so if we go into about you could see that we're running 20.0.1 build 6. i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found it informative don't forget to hit the like button comments if you need any help uh, if you're on cache os head to the cache os discord if you're on nabora head to the nobora discord if you don't find help there head to my discord and pray <laughs> Uh, because I'm always busy making new stuff, so it's kind of hard to get to people, but there's always other users that are willing to help. Bye, everybody.